Hey, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's pick a card is going to be all about a you versus them style. And this one is going to be how you guys feel about each other, as well as some issues or blessings that may stand between you and some outcome cards to help you along your way, either having a better relationship together or maybe even some future guidance as well, along with a little bit of extra love. So your choices today are the Golden Healer, the uh, Jasper Chrome Sphere, which my husband likes to call Jupiter, <laughs> and the Big Black Ball of Doom, or the Black Obsidian Sphere, basically. I know we have some silly names for these spheres, but it is what it is. He likes his funny jokes, and I think it's funny and cute, too. But anyways... I digress. Timestamps, as usual, will be down below in the description box, along with any um, links for where you can purchase these decks and the names of them, because I do have some affiliate links down below if you'd like to purchase them, if you like the cards that I used in these readings. I also have um, any information on private readings if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me and what my prices are. And without further ado, if you also need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video at this time now but without further ado we're going to jump right in with the golden healer alrighty alrighty so for my folks who chose the golden healer pebble let's see what we get for you so these top cards are going to be what you guys want from each other these middle cards are going to be what from what you need from each other these bottom cards are going to be how you feel about each other and these two middle cards are going to be the issues and blessings that stand between you to help you and any blockages. And then these three cards over here are your outcome cards and your little bit of extra love guidance as well to help you with your relationship between each other or to form this relationship together. Now, these can be either for friendship based or relationship based or even a current crush or love interest that you might be thinking of. I encourage you to either go with whichever side resonates the most with you as your side, and then the other side will be their side. Alrighty. So the wants and needs from this pile are, let's see what they want. To ask questions. They want you to ask, whoever this is needs to ask more questions. Whichever side, whether it's you or them, they want more questions to be asked or to be asked out on a date is what I get strongly from this. I feel like it's more a feminine presence as well because I'm really attracted to the fact that she's a woman and that there's this burning question in her mind like, where do we stand? Do you like me? Do you not like me? Do you want to be with me? Do you not want to be with me? That ty Those types of questions. So if that's you, then this side is your side. So let's see what the other side wants. The other side wants to be seen as equal basically because in the mirror card I get a strong sense of being seen as an equal so an equal give and take and to see each other with eye to eye and to have a clear understanding of each other and they also want you to ask them things as well because it's a mirror so it goes both ways so they feel and think the same and want the same as you and vice versa alrighty so let's see what we get from the needs piles So we have stop and we have shield. So for this side, for those that chose this side for the stop card, I feel like taking into things into consideration more and boundaries a little bit more, if you're in a committed relationship, there's some things that need to actually stop and actually um, be considered and thought through. And I'm trying to think of what else that I'm getting from this card because this one is really complicated because there's a very there's a lot to this one and I'm trying to get it all out at once if you have any bad habits those need to stop as well and also any like micromanaging of your relationship that needs to stop is what I hear a lot and clearly with this alrighty um, as well as needing that from the other person if that's the case in your relationship or whatever this implies for you so we have shield from the other side so with this there needs to um 
be a little more give and take and a little less guardedness is being asked for and needed in this. Like this person needs to drop their guard some more and they really need to be able to open up and be able to understand the other person as well. Alrighty. Instead of being so on guard and kind of like <laughs> that type of feeling is what I'm getting with this because I'm really attracted to the, um, the line in this card. <laughs> and I feel like this person can be very catty when they are approached about something that they don't want to open up about or talk about. So let's see how you guys feel about each other. So for this pile over here, for what you feel about each other, you feel like you're very outcasted from this partner. You feel very out in the cold, left out in the cold, very alone. And you have this sense of longing for them or they have a sense of longing for you to open up and to let them in more and to feel more accepted because you're tired of feeling left alone out in the cold and vice versa as well. And there needs to be a little bit more flow of emotion as well. Alrighty. So how the other side feels is nurture. So with this card, they feel like this side is a very nurturing, loving, caring person. And all they want to do is just take care of them, hold them, love them, and bring them closer to them is what I get from this card. And I feel like they think you're a very um, sweet natured, kind hearted person and a very loving and open person as well. So with that, I really feel like whoever is on this side feeling this way about them, you feel like they need to open up more and like they could be a little bit more like they could take a cue from you basically or vice versa. However, this goes is how it's supposed to be. So I'm trying to explain it the best way I can <laughs> since I don't know which side you guys have picked. So. For the issues and blessings that stand between you. So let's see what we have. We have relationships. So it with the relationships card, it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So let's see what the other card is. And then we'll get a better understanding. We have freedom. I possess the power of the free. Or I possess the power and the freedom. Uh, yeah, that's not going well. <laughs> Let me start all over. I'm so sorry, guys. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I'm like, I just want to add some extra words in there today. That's how we're going to do this. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So for the issues and blessings that stand between you guys, I feel like there's some old paradigm relationships, some exes that need to be released with this and let go as far as the freedom card goes. And I also feel like there needs to be a more free flow of emotion and a lot more um, communication given freely as well as like a blockage between you guys and a blessing. So once there's some more communication, you guys will be able to open up and connect together in a relationship a lot more deeper and closer together. So let's see what we get for your outcome cards. So for the outcome cards, because they're not supposed to be in reverse, we have awaiting results and rebuild. So this is all about growing together. You guys need to be patient with one each other, yeah, with each other, <laughs> one another as well. And you need to pretty much start over from scratch with your foundation with getting to know each other. Kind of knock it down and start over, have open more communication, more open communication, and be patient with one another because you're growing together and you're learning from each other as well. Because this is the Seven of Pentacles and this is the Tower card with this. So rather than being so frustrated and having like knock down, drag out arguments or anything else like that, release any previous notions, give them some patience, vice versa. And take your time as well with this. So because it's most needed and also the more time you take with this, the stronger you'll grow together and the more connected you'll actually be. Alrighty. So let's see what we get for some extra love advice on this. 
This card is make waves. So with this, I feel like being able to open up and share more emotion is what's most needed with this and help you bring in extra love. So let's see what the guidance is on this card. It says, it's your turn to make a splash and rock a few, <clears throat> and rock a few creaky bo boats. Don't be afraid to get wet. You may fail, you may look foolish, or you may make people think in a new way. Every great trailblazer and change maker made waves. You are no different. So basically set the tone in your relationship for how you would like things to go as an example. And it'll make things a lot easier for you guys to be more connected and more emotional towards each other and more open with each other. Alrighty. So this is your reading. I do hope that this resonated, but please know that take whatever resonates and leave the rest if it does not. And please do not try and squeeze it into your situation. Alrighty. Have a blessed one and I will see you guys next video. Alrighty, so for my folks who chose the um, polychrome jasper sphere, or Jupiter, as we're going to call it, with some air quotes, because I kind of made those off camera, um, choose whichever side resonates with you the most as you for your side, and then the other side will be the person that you're thinking of that first pops into your mind for this, who this is related to and what this will be about. These top cards are the wants between you both, what either one of you wants from each other. These are the needs for what you guys need from each other. These bottom cards right here are going to be uh, how you feel about each other. These center cards are the issues and blessings that may stand between you. And then these cards over here are the outcome cards to help you either come together a little bit stronger, maybe some future guidance possibly, and also a little bit of extra love message for you guys. So let's see what this side wants. Timing. So this one, this side is all about having, I, I hear on being on time. Someone's having issues being on time. You want them to be more on time. Like if they say they're going to be somewhere or do something with you, you expect them to be on time. Loud and clear is what I got from this. And also, I feel like you want that this person to also give you a little bit more time as well to come to them or make a decision, whether it's to be with them or to even just talk to them. You just, you need more time. For some reason, you need more time for them, from them or with them as well. From, with, and basically, you just need more time <laughs> for them and with them. And you also need more time from them to help let you make, make decisions and vice versa. So this could be them wanting that too. If, if you've chosen this side, then this is them. But if you chose this side, it's you and this is them. So let's see what this side wants. Not trying to confuse you. I'm just trying to figure this out <laughs> so that I can give you guys the best messages. So we, we have action. So this side wants action from this side. So while this side wants timing, this person wants this person to speed it up and take some kind of action, give them some kind of answer, and actually move forward with them so that things can go in a more flowing pace and so that things can either begin or be let go. But either way, they want an action, they want an answer. They want some kind of movement with you or vice versa. You want an answer from them. So let's see what this side needs. Speak. This side with the timing card needs to open up their mouths. Y'all need to make a decision and talk. Because this is what you're doing. But this is what they want you to do. Make sense? <laughs> Sorry. I had to go there. <laughs> Just to lighten this up a little bit. Because it feels a little heavy. But anyways. So this side needs to, needs to talk and have open communication and give this side a much needed answer. So that's what's needed with this side, short and simple. So what this side needs is gossip. They need to talk as well. They need to stop getting so worried and so jealous about stupid little things and listening to what other people say as well instead of 
like just giving in to any negative aspects, but they also need to open up their mouths and speak and say what they want from you and what they need from you as well and to have open communication because I'm really not so drawn to the gossip word. I'm really drawn to the mouth being open and having a need to talk. Alrighty, they need also more open communication, more open-hearted communication, and an understanding, a clear understanding of where everybody stands with each other is what's needed. So let's see how you guys feel about each other. So this side is refusing to see with the Two of Swords. So with this side... <sighs> For the Two of Swords, it's all about making a decision, clearly, because we all know what that means in the Tarot. But you're refusing to look at both sides and make your choice at this time. So you need to pay attention, look at both sides, and make your choice so that this person can clearly know what action to take next, whether it's to be with you or walk away from you. It is what it is. But either way... Some action and a decision needs to be made at this time for how you feel about them. And also, it's like you're stuck in your emotions. You're stuck in your head with making this decision about how you feel about them. So you're basically in limbo with this and not sure exactly which way you want to go. So how this person feels is their darkest fears. This is the Nine of Swords in this deck. So with this, I feel like your indecision and the fact that they've been, or whoever's indecision this is, and the fact that they've been waiting a very long time to get an, an, an answer from this person, it's driving this person's side a little bit bonkers and keeping them up and stressing them out and wondering what the heck is actually going on with this other person. So... That's where their head is at and how they're feeling right now is very unsure, very stressed, very worried and wondering when will I receive my answer? What's going to happen? Are they going to be with me? Are they going to open up to me? Are they going to talk to me? Kind of like an over and over mindset in their head. I hate to sound like that, but that's exactly how I'm feeling from this card. Alrighty. So with the issues and the blessings that stand between you, let's see what we have. We have growth and we have guilt. So with the growth card, it says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So the blessing between you two is that there should be some growth and there's definitely some um, much needed lessons that are being learned at this time from the both of you during this period. All right. And then we have guilt, which is a blockage. So with the guilt card, it says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So with the guilt card, I feel like both sides are equally having issues with the other and feeling guilty about something. And I feel like whatever needs to be released and opened up between the two of you will help release this guilt and have also a lot of major growth between you two and a more clear and honest understanding as well, as long as you open your mouths and speak your truths. So let's get the outcome cards and see what's going to happen or what we can do to help you. So for the outcome cards, we have Blossom and we have Choose Your Battles. So with the Choose Your Battles card, be careful how you speak, watch what you say. And with the Blossom card, once you're able to get past these arguments and conversations that you've had with the other person... It'll help nurture and blossom your relationship into something much better and more beautiful and a lot stronger between the both of you. Alrighty. And I feel like there'll be a lot more positivity with your growth between each other as well. Once you've been able to open up and have this communication and the honest communication that's most needed at this time. And hopefully not to argue too much or to argue too long. So... Let's get you some extra love guidance to help you. We have accept compliments. So I feel like if your partner's coming towards you with some sort of positive com um, conversation or compliments, they're trying to get you to open up and talk to them more. So that's what's most needed. 
to help you have a little bit more love between each other and to know that they are genuinely coming to you and telling you, hey, you look amazing. Hey, I love you. Hey, I want to be with you. They genuinely, genuinely, excuse me, feel that way towards you. And they're hoping that you can open up and accept it. So let's see what the card reads. It says, the next time someone gives you a compliment, say thank you. Don't shrug it off, play it down, or reject the gift. You'll be denying yourself and the giver the opportunity to share in a moment of gratitude and love. Exercise your self-esteem and soak it in, superstar. Think of think of compliments as little confidence-building soul vitamins. <clears throat> you are worthy of praise. So having more positive communication between you guys is what's most needed to help you guys have a better understanding and a better deeper love for each other as well and know that you are truly worthy of each other compl each other's compliments and each other's feelings and true love for each other Alrighty, so these are your messages i do hope that they resonated but please remember to not try and force it to your situation just take whatever resonates and leave the rest i hope you guys have a blessed one and i will see you next video thanks for watching Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Black Obsidian Sphere or the Big Black Ball of Doom, <laughs> let's see what we got for you guys. Alrighty, these top cards are going to be all about the wants from each other, the needs from each other, how you feel about each other, the issues and blessings that stand between you, and some outcome cards and a little bit of extra love. So, please take whichever side resonates the most to you. And the other side will be them. And I will read them as best as I can because I do not know which side you guys have chosen. So let's see what this side wants from the other person. So what the other person, uh, what this person wants from the other person is to have a more grounded, stable, firm type of relationship with the other. Something a little bit more solid is what I get from this. So... Whoever this side is, they want more solidarity, whether it's you or whether it's them. More stable connection, more stable firm foundations. We have guide. So with this, I feel like the other person wants you to basically show them what they need to do, tell them what they need to do, show them how you want things to be, or they, whoever side this is needs to open up and show, show how they want things to be, how they feel vice versa either way but either way this person needs to step up and have someone guide them which is what they want they also need to feel like they're a little bit more in charge and that's what they want they want to feel like they have more kind of a say in the relationship as well as what I get so and I also feel like because I'm really attracted to the heart part of this card like they want whoever side this is they want the other person to be more open with their emotions and to show them more of how they feel all right so let's see what the needs are for this side we have support this side needs more support from the other emotionally and i hear financially as well so if this is a marriage there needs to be some more equal give and take within your money flow between the both of you especially if you live together the bills need to be 50 50 is what i hear instead of 60 40 or 70 10 split whatever something's not fair either way this person needs to also feel more supported by the other whether it's emotionally physically or financially or however it is you guys need it's in all aspects that they need to have support from the other person Alrighty. So what this person needs is a freaking miracle. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, what this person needs is to have more faith and belief in the other person so that there can be a more a stable connection and they feel like they need to... They really want to have... They need and want to also have more faith in each other. And they need that from you or vice versa. You need that from them to have more faith in you. 
either way, there needs to be more faith between each other and trust as well as what I hear loud and clear. There needs to be more trust, more faith. All right. Because I'm really attracted to the cross and not so much the miracle um, world word. Yeah. World <laughs> word. Sorry. So let's see how you guys feel about each other. This person on this side is very, they feel very happy and stable for the most part with this side and that you bring them much joy and you make them very happy inside. But at the end of the day, they still need to have that faith and that trust from the other side or the other person or you from them. But this side feels like they, they feel like they're not being seen. Like their point of view isn't being seen or understood. Like the other side is missing something from them. Like I feel like with the observed card, because it's seen from all different angles and I feel like it's more of seeing the other's point of view. I feel like this person really has a lack of being understood and their point of view being seen by the other. And that's how they feel. And that they observe also every aspect of the other person and they take in and see how they are and they see their points of view as well in um, your conversations with each other. I'm trying to explain this from kind of a neutral point of view. It's kind of hard. So doing the best I can here. I just hope it's making sense. If you have any questions though, please let me know down below and I will do my best to answer them. But either way, they observe also every little aspect about the other person and they find it absolutely amazing and enthralling as well to be so like well-rounded and so open and so smart and divine like-minded. But you also need to see each other's points of view is what's um, coming through with this card. Alrighty. Anyway, moving on. Issues and blockages and blessings. Let's see. We have envy and we have imagination. So right away, I hear jealousy as a blockage. The other part, there needs to be an aspect of toning down with being jealous of the other person and vice versa. Like if the other person's talking to somebody else, they're not doing it just because they want to flirt with them. They're just being themselves. So there needs to be a clear understanding of what's actually going on. And also this is why I'm feeling that this person feels like they're not having their point of view understood or seen because when you try, they try to express this to the other person, this person thinks, Oh, you're just being jealous. You're overreacting. No, you guys need to open up and explain and see each other's points of view so that you don't have this jealous or envy feeling between the both of you or one towards the other and have a common understanding that that's actually how this person feels. All right. Whether it's you or whether it's them, there needs to be a common ground and some expression like, no, this is how I truly feel. This is how you make me feel inside. Alrighty. The card reads, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. There also needs to be a sense of equality as well. Instead of one being better than the other in the relationship is what I also get. So we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So with this, with the imagination, I feel like it's also another block, but the blessing to this is that you can actually change your own imagination. Basically you can change your point of view. So with this, I feel like jumping to conclusions is what I hear loud and clear from this. You can change that. You create your world, you create your mindset, you create what is around you and how you feel. By using your imagination, you can change all that instead of letting your imagination also get the best of you and carry it away with you. Alrighty. So let's see what the outcome cards have to, um, to say and to offer us and the extra love card. 
we have helpless and hopeless. So with the eight of swords, feeling helpless and hopeless and tied and bound to something, you are not. There needs to be some overcoming with that, with having more love for each other. And that way you guys can, ha can have this beautiful, loving relationship and an overflowing abundance of love and emotion between you guys, because this is a divinely connected relationship is what I hear with this and what I feel and that you are not just tied and bound to another and you're not stuck with each other either. This is an amazing connection. You just need to open up and see it more that way because I'm really attracted to the eye being open in this card and have more love for one another because otherwise your relationship is not going to be able to go much further than what it is right now is what I get as well with this for those that feel like they're stuck and their relationship isn't moving forward. All right, so for the love card, we have confidence. So let's see what extra love we can give you. It takes courage. <clears throat> it takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. And the best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody starts somewhere. And don't worry about making mistakes. You can always course correct. But you'll never know or grow unless you try. And the more you do, the more confident and successful successful, excuse me, you'll become when you shine. We are all inspired to do the same thing. So with this, I feel like having more faith and more trust and confidence in each other will cause you to have that much more of a beautiful relationship with each other and it will cause you to expand quite beautifully as well. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. Please remember, do not try and force them to just take whatever does and leave the rest. Know that I love you. Have a blessed one. And thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos and I will see you next one. Have a great one.